Okay, tonight's training. You're fine, Brooke. Um, all right, y'all, so I'm excited about this. Okay, so tonight's training is going to be about editing and enhancing your profile a little bit. Um, I know when we first start, like, nobody really knows what the heck to do or whatever. So I'm really starting to get into attraction marketing. Um, so I'll be doing another training on that later on as soon as I master it. Um, but you know, obviously like our profile is our business. You know, when you go downtown and you window shop, you know, what you see in a window is going to either draw you in or have you keep walking. So our profiles are super crucial to this. Um, so that's why I kind of wanted to do this training tonight. So if any of y'all know me, I know Kristen and Tiffany, they know this, but I'm a notes person. So if I keep looking down, that's what I'm doing. Um, okay. So your bio for Instagram and for Facebook, it should be something about you, whether you're a mom or you're into fitness or you're a college student. Um, seriously, anything that you have a hobby with or something like that, you need to put that in your bio. Uh, whenever, I don't know when y'all were going to add friends and stuff, like that's what you look at to see what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? To see what they're like, to see if you want to add them as friends or not. So, um, like for mine, I think mine says like engaged, a mom, a Christ follower and, um, shopping. I like shopping. So I think I put like shopaholic or something on there. Okay. So like, you're just going to want to do something like that instead of put like it works or boss babe or, you know, anything like that, because people are automatically going to know like, okay, she sells something, you know, I don't want to get to know her because she might be like all these other salespeople that you know, just message you out of the blue or whatever. Um, so I would highly suggest keeping that off of your bio and keep it about you because people are going to fall in love with you before they join your team or they buy the products. Um, so I challenge y'all to get that done tonight since it's still early. Um, because you really just want people looking at you, you know, um, okay. Pictures. Pictures are crucial. We don't need blurry pictures. We don't need Snapchat filters. Um, anything like that. So how I take my pictures, I have like a selfie light, but if you don't have that, taking pictures outside is always a plus. Um, if you're inside, you need to face the window instead of it having, having it behind you. Cause it's not only going to make your face blurry, but it's going to make your picture dark. So bright pictures, colorful pictures, clear pictures, that's what we want to see. So um, for your profile picture, it doesn't need to be a Snapchat filter. I don't know about y'all, but I just don't like that. Like I'm not even into Snapchat. I don't even have that app on my phone anymore. So um, no Snapchat filters for profile pictures. Now, if you want to take a Snapchat photo or whatever and post it on your timeline, I wouldn't do it often. But if you're going to do it, to, you know, be funny or cute or whatever, then okay. But definitely not have that an everyday thing. Um, okay. Hashtags. Okay. So y'all know like that's the thing on Instagram. You know how we can add people through hashtags and different things like that. So if you ever went to your search bar and you looked up a hashtag to find people, like tons of people come up for hashtags. Uh, so you want to keep your hashtags, if you're going to use hashtags for Instagram, and you can even use them for Facebook as well, but hashtags, make sure they're not like overly used. Like you don't want, you know, I'm sure there's one that says like girl boss or something that's probably ha has like a million hits. You know, you don't want to use something that has like a million people already using the same thing because nobody, you know, if somebody else is going to look up hashtags or whatever, they're not going to find your picture in a million people. It's just not even going to happen. Um, so if you're going to use hashtags, do it kind of like where you're at, you know, like maybe you're in Charlotte, North Carolina, hashtag Charlotte, North Carolina, instead of like tagging it at the top of your picture, you know, um, you could put like mom of girls or, you know, whatever, just something that pertains to you and that already has, um, hashtags like already made for that or you can make your own brand new hashtag so however you want to do it but hashtags super awesome for instagram nobody really uses it on facebook as much but instagram i always if i do a hashtag i always like space after my last like paragraph of my post 
and do, you know, a couple hashtags. Two plus is always an okay. Um, okay, your profile always needs to be 30% business and 70% you. I know I have always preached this. So when I'm saying 70% you, I'm saying lifestyle or food or shopping or something like that. Absolutely nothing about the business. And then you can always pull into your lifestyle. You can always pull in like an indirect business post. So just say that we went to go get ice cream tonight. So I could post a picture of us eating ice cream and indirect it would say, you know, I, I don't know. Um, like we got ice cream tonight. So thankful that I was able to do this. You know, a year ago we wouldn't be able to go splurge on ice cream or, you know, something like that. So that's like indirect business post. Um, so you can always add that into your lifestyle. Uh, other options are like, um, like pretty pictures of you with a life quote or an inspirational quote or something like that. You know, if you have, if you can't figure out something to pose for a day, do something like that. A cute selfie or a cute family photo and get some kind of cute um, quote. You can always get them from Pinterest and, you know, type it at yourself. Um, okay, so another thing that I have actually seen quite recently that I wanted to talk to on here is, okay, so we don't need to be salesy. We all know that people are going to buy us before they buy the products or join our team, okay? So whenever you're making a product post or a business post, you don't have to always put like who wants in or, you know, you don't always have to have like a call to action. Like I have four spots or, um, or who wants this or, you know, anything like that, you know, sometimes just speaking about like if you're using the products, which we all should be at this point, um, if you're using the products and you have results, you know, you could take a picture in the mirror like of your body and you can just talk about how confident you're feeling and you're so glad that you found something that actually worked on um, you know different things like that like because you're gonna have people that either message you or they're gonna comment like oh my gosh Brooke what the heck are you doing Tiffany what are you doing I need to lose weight Kristen tell me more like and then you know we have people that look at us but they they don't always want that call to action Sometimes they just want to hear about how you're feeling or, um, or about your confidence or things like that. So don't always have a call to action or, you know, saying who wants this or anything like that, because it just kind of draws people away because they know like, okay, well, she's just trying to sell me on this post. Like she's not being completely genuine. You know, that's how, when I'm talking about feelings, like telling your feelings, that's what people are drawn to. That's what people like to see, what they like to hear. Um, so remember that when you go to do your call to action post, you don't always have to have a call to action. Um, okay. So for Facebook and even for Instagram polls, something that I do maybe like once every two weeks that I feel like just boosts up my profile to other people's, um, in their timeline is an interaction post. So even if you don't need makeup, you can just post like on your Facebook, you could post like, what's the best foundation for oily skin? Or um, where do where do y'all buy your purses? I need a new one. Um, you know, different things like that. I'm trying to think of somewhere else, something else, but different things like that. Everybody loves to give their opinion. So with you doing that, you're going to have, you know, whatever, 10 plus comments. And so the next time you post, and if you interact back to those comments on your interactive post, um, your next post on your timeline, those 10 plus people are going to be the first ones to see your post because you've interacted with them. So it's super simple. That way you can interact with them and they can interact with you and you can find out what people like and, you know, um, you know, maybe you really like makeup or maybe you really want to know about this girl's lipstick, that girl that you're wanting to know about, you know, she's going to comment her lipstick, you know, so it's going to be super simple for you to interact with those people because you know what they like, um, whether it be purses or makeup or, you know, whatever. Um, okay. And then, yeah, for the, the polls on IG, if you look on Pinterest there, I have to remember what it's called, but there are a ton of things where you can get like, this or that photos and you can learn about your followers. So that gives you an opportunity because you can, you know, you can always go back to your Instagram stories in your archive. So 
that gives you an opportunity to figure out what this person likes. The same thing we were kind of doing on Facebook. You can do the same thing on Instagram through your polls because like I said, everybody wants to give their opinion. So with you putting up something like that, people are going to be able to um, react to different things on your story and they can send it to you or, you know, whatever. Like you have all that option on your IG stories. Um, so that just kind of helps you learn your followers too. And if you didn't even get a, a picture from Pinterest, you could just do a couple slides like, which one would you pick? You know, chocolate or vanilla ice cream or, you know, something like that. And then that's going to help you get to know your followers. Um, okay, limit the memes that we share. That way our business posts and our lifestyle posts don't get crammed down to the bottom. So if you're sharing a lot of memes, especially every day, you know, people aren't going to see, you know, if you're adding people every day like we should be, then when they click your profile, all they're going to see is memes. They're not going to see like you talking about, you know, your daughter or your son or something like that. So um, definitely limit the shares of your memes. If you want to, I know some are super funny and sometimes you just have to share them and I totally get that. So share them occasionally, you know, but I definitely would not share a meme every day or every other day. You know, I'd, I'd limit it like three a week or something like that, you know, um, because we really want people to stay engaged with us, our life and our business. And that's what we're posting on our timeline. Okay. Another thing that we have always been taught is like, don't ever post like when I'm talking about those interaction posts, don't ever do things that will like cause a huge debate on your timeline. We don't want any negativity coming to the timeline, even with interaction posts. So I wouldn't post about vaccines or the president or something like that, because those are super, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Those are super sensitive topics to a lot of people. And so I just, I, I wouldn't post it because I don't want negativity brought to my thing because it's going to blow up like heck, especially with vaccines. Cause that's like a big no, no, like you don't, yeah. Triggers crystal. Thank you. That's like a big no, no. Like you don't talk about vaccinating your children or not. Like that's just something <laughs> like you just don't even want to start on your page. Um, okay. So like I said before, feelings, happy, positivity, your need to help your others instead of yourself. People want to fall in love with you, your personality, your family. So there's a huge, especially when you're either posting your story or even just a simple picture of yourself. Um, you know, this goes back to not knowing what to post. Just posting something as simple as you feeling so confident or, you know, you're just having a really great day. So you want to talk about how, you know, the business has helped you, you know, whatever. Stay at home, be with your child when they're sick. Um, different stuff like that. Talk about how you're thankful, how um, you're blessed, all this kinds of stuff, those feeling words. Um, that's what people want to see. They want to see that they need to feel connected to you. And the only way they can feel connected is if you're talking about your feelings. So that's a huge thing. Okay. So in the chat, I want y'all to put what are things that makes you stop and look at a person, whether it be on Instagram or on Facebook. What do y'all see on their profiles or what do you want to see? Cause I know I follow people on Instagram, not even to, for the business at all. So I know mine is fashion, makeup and DIY stuff. I love following people that do that kind of stuff. Anybody, anybody? Does anybody like to see anything on anybody's profile? traveling pictures okay anybody else yeah happiness for sure i cannot follow anybody that's negative because it brings me down kristen bright profile bright profile funny same interest bright and fun funny yeah funny is a good one for sure okay so these are good dogs <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah okay so <laughs> oh gosh I wish I was a dog person. Yeah, relatable for sure. Um, okay, so those things, that right there gives y'all everything to post. Kristen, you have dogs, I know for a fact. So you can talk about your dog and that's going to have people relate to you like, oh my God, I love my dog too. Kids, Crystal, the same for you, posting Macy, Nikki, and Tiffany, the same for you, posting your kids. 
on funny nikki you you kill it with funny stuff with shane so you are attracting people that likes funny stuff too so keep doing that um bright and fun i know all of y'all's profile is killing it right now so good and traveling pictures, Brooke, any place you travel, it doesn't even matter if it's like 10 minutes down the road from your house or maybe it's just the zoo or the park. Somebody wants to be able to go take their kid to the park, you know, whatever, during the day or whatever it is. Um, so all those things are things that y'all can take into your perspective because if y'all like it, other people like it too. And so back with the relatable thing like Crystal was saying, People are going to be able to relate to you with your, whether you're talking about your kids or the park or funny or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that gives y'all right there. Everything that you want to see is stuff that other people want to see. So always remember that if you can't figure out a post. Um, okay. Copying and pasting. It just messes up the whole ag algorithm. And honestly, it would just suck if like me and Tiffany were, friends with the same person and they saw the same exact thing you know what I'm saying and the same for everybody else like that would just suck so remember copying and pasting is like a huge no-no and then um I have on here about being consistent because I feel like I feel like we don't understand the um what's the word crystal I need you to help me out what's the word um the importance I got it before you, Crystal. <laughs> the importance of uh, being consistent. So basically, you know, like I said before, our profile is is our business. Like that's our business. <laughs> Nothing, Crystal. I I was trying to figure out importance. Importance. That's what I was trying to figure out. Um. Okay. So our profiles are our business. So if we don't post for one day or, you know, if we don't post for two days, cause I know like some of us have like a day off, you know what I'm saying? Where we don't really do anything. We don't have our phone. You know, we just spend time with our family, which is good. So, you know, maybe a day out the week, you don't post something. That's okay. But when you're not posting and being consistent for two plus days in a row, it's, it's like a business, you know, if they're not open, you're going to be like, dude, what the heck? Okay. Well, they're not getting my money today. So it's the same for us, you know, if we're not posting, if we're not engaging with people and things like that, if we're not being consistent with our daily task and what we should do, basically it's like not even being open for business. So always think of that whenever you don't feel like doing something, a lot of us don't feel like doing something and we just have to do it anyway because we all have goals, whether it be to stay home with our kids or just help our husbands or boyfriends or whatever bring in an extra income, you know, whatever it may be, or to travel, because I know Kristen doesn't have kids. So, you know, anything like that, you know, you're basically not giving yourself a paycheck that day. You're not doing anything for your business. So being consistent is huge. Um, hold on, I know I have one more thing on here. Okay, so does everybody on here, do y'all have a preset or do y'all know what a preset is? I know Nikki has one and I know Crystal has one. Um, Kristen, Tiffany, and Brooke, do y'all have a preset for your pictures or do you know what that is? Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, for pictures, Tiffany's got one, bright and airy. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. All right, so everybody has a preset that they got from Etsy. And Lightroom, yeah. Okay, so that's something I was gonna say. I bought a preset for like four bucks on Etsy. They have hundreds, probably thousands, hundreds. Um, a preset from Etsy, one that's bright, one that kind of just makes colors pop out of my pictures and things like that. And then the Lightroom app, you know, we can, you buy your preset, you upload it on Lightroom. Anyway, that's a little bit difficult, but <laughs> it gets done. Yeah, mine, mine has, I think I have five for like $4. So if any day I wanted to change it up or whatever, I've got another four that I can go to. Um, so presets on Etsy, Lightroom is where you upload it and put it there. Um, and that is seriously the easy, the easiest way to edit. Like I used to edit through Pink Tap Go. So if you don't want to get a preset, um, you can do Pink Tap Go or Tada. Um, that's T-A-D-A-A, -A. 
but uh, Pete Tag Go was definitely my favorite until like everybody was like, dude, you got to get a preset. You got to get a preset. And I'm like, okay, fine. I'll get a preset. So I found, I actually like, I bought two. And the first one I didn't like because I still had to do some adjusting. But this other one that I got, it's perfect. The only thing I have to do occasionally is if I'm inside, I'll have to brighten it up after I, I do my preset on it. But all of my pictures look the same. So for Instagram, this is huge for Instagram um, with the presets because you kind of want it, you don't want it to look like a blogger page, but you know how all of the blogger pages have the same filter on every single picture. Um, if you don't have a preset and you're just doing it on Pig Tap Go, they're not all going to be the same. I went through it. I tried so hard to get every single picture the same exact way. Never possible. Absolutely never possible. But with this preset, everything is in color coordination. I mean, everything just looks so neat. And so for Instagram, I would highly get a preset that, like I said, they're like four bucks. So super cheap. Um, do it on Lightroom and do it that way because your Instagram is going to start popping after that. Um, I swear, y'all, there's one more thing and I just don't remember what it was I wanted to say. <laughs> I do not remember. Okay, so what I'm going to do until I figure it out, buy one, get one free. Yeah, they're, they're, they have deals occasionally where it's buy one, get one free um, for all of the presets. So if you don't have one, be sure to get one because those are crucial. And it's going to start bringing people in because you have the good pictures. You have the bright. You have the you know colors like you have all of that so your pictures aren't going to look dark or blurry or anything like that so if you don't have one invest in one four dollars um all right i'm gonna open this up for questions this wasn't going to be a long training i knew it wouldn't last us an hour because i just wanted to kind of go over these simple things of how to edit your pictures and you know enhance your profile um but we're going to start doing trainings every week I might do two next week. It just depends because we have a lot of Zoom scheduled for this month. But expect one once a week. And of course, I'll let y'all know. So if there's any questions, I'm going to stop this recording. But if there's any questions, I will be happy to answer them on here before we hop off.